I've been out fossil hunting today and I've found what looks to be a really rare fossil. I found some similar fossils in the past, but this one looks to be much bigger, better preserved and has some really interesting features which I've not seen before. I've also found a few ammonite fossils and a little fossil bone on the beach. What we'll do is we'll see me open the ammonites first, then we'll have a look on the beach and I'll show you the other fossil I found. And the most special fossil of all, I'll show you towards the end of the video. What I'll do is before I upload this video, I'll make sure that we've had a chance to prepare the fossil. So I'll show you it before we found it and then after we found it. So this video has been, by the time I've uploaded it, quite a few weeks or even a couple of months in the making. But I thought it was worth it to show you the before and after of this particularly exciting fossil that we found. Let's have a look at the ammonites that I've cracked open initially, and then we'll watch the rest of the video and see how it unfolds. Let's get straight into it. Today I've already opened up several ammonite nodules. Quite a large one there, as well as a number of smaller ammonites. As well as opening up these two nodules, I'm also going to open up this one. Gave it a little tap with my hammer before, it started to crack round and reveal a lovely ammonite. There's potentially another complete ammonite on the other side, making it a double specimen. The first nodule we'll open up is this double specimen. Quite often, they're not preserved very well inside in this type of rock, so it's not worth taking it home to try and risk spending a few hours preparing it when it might not be fully preserved, but sometimes they can be. Let's have a little look. Okay, a bit more of it has started to become revealed. And with this rock, kind of as I expected, you can see how the ammonite goes round there. Then here, there's just nothing preserved. I'll have a quick look at this side and we'll see if there's anything in there as well though. Again, potentially looking promising. You can sort of see a bit of a whirl there, but you just never know with this type of rock. It's looking very promising now. Okay, let's see. All right, so there we have it. It was actually preserved all the way. It's come out pretty nice. See the outer world, strangely isn't fully preserved, but the center is. Let's give this bigger nodule a crack. Managed to crack it. What do we think? Maybe some shells inside? Hard to know for sure. Oh, <laughs> yeah, just full of fossil shells. I really thought there was going to be a nice big ammonite inside. But no, shells and calcite. And last but not least, we have this other nodule. Let's open this with the hammer and chisel again. can already tell that has gone perfectly. Ah, oh, finally, that's what we were looking for. Fully preserved, opened nice and easily. That's a look at the ammonite fossils opened up. Now let's have a look across at the beach and I'll show you this other pretty cool fossil that I've found. Let's have a look at that one. Also just now come across a fossilised bone. Can you tell what bone it is? This is the vertebra or a vertebra from an ichthyosaur. Looks like a single vertebra, hard to tell whereabouts from the animal it would have come from. 
it's definitely a vertebra some sort of other bone up here potentially bits of rib or part of a neural spine pretty nice find to the ammonites that we've already got today it's really good and last but not least let's have a look at this fossil i found within a slab of shale i'll explain a bit more about it for you and then I'll show you the fossil fully prepared. See if you can work out what it is. I've got a few photos of it. There's also a bit of a mystery around it. Some really exciting fine details and we're not entirely sure what they are. Let's have a look. found here what appears to be some kind of fossil cuttlefish. Looks to be very well preserved and pretty much entirely complete. Just walking along and found it eroding out of a big shale slab on the very top. And the shale was quite loose so it came away quite easily. Some very very interesting details preserved. Looks like the entire creature is fully preserved. I'll show you a close-up of it now. You can see here what appears to be the ink sac. This is the piece that was very slightly eroded. Lots more lovely detail preserved there. Quite a lot of it is still all covered by a thin layer of shale. Detail underneath, once we've prepared it, should in theory be absolutely perfect. Looks like it's going to be a very nicely preserved specimen a few little fossilized shells preserved next to it as well and at the very end is these parts of the presumed cuttlefish that had been revealed when the shale came away i'm not sure what those actually are in terms of the anatomy of the cuttlefish but yeah i'm looking forward to my dad preparing this could potentially be one of our best examples of this type of fossil next job is just to get it home in one piece, it's a very thin layer of shale, as you can tell. And then we'll start preparing it. And here we have the finished cuttlefish, fully prepared. Got a few photographs of it first, and then a video of the finished fossil. My dad prepared this fossil quite quickly, over the space of around one week. Spending a few hours each night, getting it to where it is today. The fossil required quite a lot of stabilisation because the shale was very fragile. However, it's now in one solid piece, ready to be displayed or studied if appropriate. I didn't manage to film him preparing any of it. I've been very busy with work, unfortunately. However, he prepared it mostly with air abrasives that enabled him to gradually remove very tiny pieces of shale at a time and reveal these stunning fine details. Got another photograph coming up then we'll have a look at the video of the fossil. This is the ink sac that we first noticed. This was the piece of the fossil that was already quite eroded. But the rest of it was all covered and protected by that very thin layer of shale, as you can remember just slightly earlier on in the video. Underneath the shale, every detail is fully intact. Finding this type of fossil is very unusual. They're really hard to come by, quite rare. At most, you can expect to find maybe one a year or less. They really are uncommon. The most interesting part about this fossil in particular are these three structures at the end. We've shown them to a few of our friends and we're not sure exactly what they are just yet so we really would appreciate it if anyone in the comments knows just let us know some people have suggested whether they might be eggshells or some sort of 
other anatomy, but we're really not sure. They definitely belong to the cuttlefish. Either way, whatever they are, it's some really strange soft tissue that's preserved that doesn't normally get preserved in the type of shale around here. It's pretty exciting. And there we have it. Quite a few different fossils in today's video. Again, not entirely sure what those fine details are. If you have any ideas, let us know in the comments. And if we definitely find out for sure what they are, I'll let you know in a future video. But for now, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.